one around the right side. You know what we gotta have? What's that? Six sacks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, six sacks. I mean, no, you know, of course, the, the quarterback shouldn't be on the ground at all, but I think, you know, you make mistakes in the game, and, uh, and as many dropbacks we did have, I mean, it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? But we just gotta keep fighting. And I think that and I, I have faith in my teammates and faith in myself that we will continue to do that and uh, keep ball off the ground. You guys got into a lot of third and longs the other day. You know, they were able to pin their ears back yeah. a little bit. How difficult is that in this league when, with the talent that you face? I think it's very difficult because when you're third and long, I mean, they can hit you with so many things. Uh, you may get a, you know, inside blitz or you may, I mean, then they they had their they had their third down rush packages in. And, I mean, it's just they can hit you with so many things, a T twist, E N T twist, and uh, by them having a bye week, you know, they had time to to sharpen some things up that we probably didn't watch on film. And uh, but it's very it's very tough in this league to to uh, play third and long. Along those lines, what do you can you have you pinpointed a thing or two about some of the struggles you guys have had in the running game, particularly to you know stop getting into third and long and, and getting into you know more of second and third manageable down distance. Um, I think it's just, you know, just keep, um, just have to keep hitting our landmarks, you know. Um, I mean, I follow our blocks and we all do, but we just got to keep with it, keep keep putting it on the ground and just have faith that, that it's going to hit, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, I have faith, like I said, I have faith in my teammates, faith in the coaches that they know what they're doing. And you see, you know, at the end of the game, we, we rallied back, even though we didn't come back with the, you know, get the W, but we played hard and, and that's what it's about. Has it been difficult, Justin, to create some chemistry up there because so many different players are being used, as opposed to last year when there were just a few? No, no. I mean, like, like co coaches putting the best best men on the field is going to help us win. Um, you know, our freshmen, Austin Golson, um, Larry Mitonza, they're stepping up. Um, as you see, like, it's just experience. You know, they're gaining experience, and, and they see how the game going. And when you look into their eyes, you see that they're, they're playing. You know, they're giving it their all. And they're playing for each other. We're playing for each other. And I think what the coaches are doing is correct, and, and it especially helps us out with our tempo to, you know, have some fresh guys in the, in the fourth quarter, you know, when the game gets into the uh, <laughs> gritty moments. When you look at what A&M's given up on the run, it's more than 200 yards in four games already. You think, okay, this is a game that we can get back and start running the ball more and make it easier on the pass. Yeah, of course. I mean, as an O-line, um, we pride ourselves in the run game. I mean, we like putting the ball on the ground. I mean, it, it, it's more of a statement play to us. Um, and I feel like that we will be able to move the ball. We just have to, you know, move the double team and get to the linebackers and just get out. If we get our guys to the, to, to the safeties, <laughs> it's going to be a show. It's going to be a show. So I didn't mean to interrupt. Along those lines with Manziel and, and that offense over there scoring the way that they do, how much pressure is it or how much pressure do you feel to, for you guys to put up, you know, a lot of points? I mean, I don't. I, feel, I have faith in our defense. First of all, that um, they will put up stops. Um, so I don't really feel too much pressure about it. I mean, any any SEC game is a is a tough game. Um, there's anybody. You have to fight for a win. You have to play 60 minutes, passionate football, and play for each other, play as a unit. And if we just go out there and just play rebel ball, and um, you know, have that passion that we, that we that you saw that you see in the games, and just play for each other. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to do some amazing things this season. Coach Freeze talked about how some of the teams, Alabama and Auburn, have changed by you know putting their defensive guys wider and making it hard for you all to run outside. I mean, does that? how does that change for an offensive lineman? Does it put more emphasis on running inside and really creating some room in there to do it? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. I mean, you just have, like I said, like I said earlier, hitting, hitting our landmarks, you know, staying inside out. Um, yeah. You know that that, that that would definitely help us out. And um, uh, you know me being a guard playing inside, just getting movement on that three technique or that nose, and me in the cylinder. You know what I'm saying double team and getting to the linebacker. Uh, that makes a tremendous difference. And like I said earlier, I have faith that we will do that. You know, um, it's a work week for us, so we're going to go to work. What do you now, remember? Go ahead. Go ahead. Now that you're through it, what do you think the effect has been of having so many road games in a row like you have? Yeah. Um, I think it, I think. Um, Playing at home, it, it's a much better feeling because you you know you're 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 in front of rubber nation in front of your crowd. Um, I think.
to, you know, we had a tough road schedule, but I mean, everybody has that. You know what I mean? So that's no excuse. Um, but I feel like, you know, coming back home is going to be a great feeling and just locking the vault. That's all it's about, locking the vault.